the 19th of March 1944, Azad Hind Forge hoisted the national flag on Indian mainland in Manipur. Colonel Shaukat Malik hoisted the tricolor in Moirang with the help of Manipuris, including Mayrambam Koirang Singh and others who were members of the INA. The flag, adopted by Subhash Chandra Bose in 1943, was a variant of the Purna Swaraj flag that included the words Azad on the saffron band on the top, Hind on the bottom green band, and in the centre white band, a springing tiger in lieu of Gandhiji's Charkha, symbolising INA's strength and their indomitable will to fight. The Indian National Army was originally founded by Captain Mohan Singh in Singapore in September 1942, with Japan's Indian prisoners of war in the Far East with the support of the Indian Independence League, headed by expatriate nationalist leader Rash Bihari Bose. The Liberation Army was revived with the arrival of Subhash Chandra Bose in 1943. In July, at a meeting in Singapore, Rash Bihari Bose handed over the control of the organization to Subhash Chandra Bose. Bose was able to reorganize the army and gained massive support among the expatriate Indian population in Southeast Asia. They lent support financially as well as by enlisting in the Indian National Army. At its height, INA consisted of about 85,000 troops, including a separate women's unit, the Rani of Jhansi Regiment, headed by Captain Lakshmi Swaminathan. INA fought along with the Imperial Japanese Army against the British and Commonwealth forces in the campaigns in Burma, Imphal and Kohima. We also remember freedom fighter Narayan Bhaskar Khare, who was born on the 19th of March 1884 in Panvel, Maharashtra. Khare, a medical doctor by profession, was member of Indian National Congress from 1916 to 1938. He was the president of the Central Provinces Provincial Congress Committee, Harijan Sevak Sangh, Nagpur, and a member of the All India Congress Committee for several years. He was also the founder and editor of nationalist Marathi paper, Tarun Bharat. Khare resigned from the Legislative Council in pursuance of the mandate by the Lahore Congress and was imprisoned for participating in the civil disobedience movement. After the 1937 elections, Khare became the first premier of the newly formed Central Provinces and Bharat. During the Quit India movement in 1942, a crowd in Ashti and Chimur killed some policemen and 30 people were tried and sentenced to hang. Khare formed the Capital Punishment Relief Society to help the people of Ashti and Chimur. Khare was a member of the Viceroy's Executive Council from May 1943 to July 1946, where he was in charge of the Commonwealth Relations Department. Later, Khare also served as a member of the Constituent Assembly. Khare became a member of the Lok Sabha from Gwalior in 1952 and served till 1955. He later settled in Nagpur and died in 1970. We also remember martyr Muhammad Khan, a resident of Delhi who participated in the first war of Indian independence in 1857. Khan took active part in fighting against the advancing British army in Delhi and was captured by British troops after reoccupation of Delhi. He was accused of rebellion against British rule and executed by hanging on the 19th of March 1858.